Hey guys, welcome to another video on Bharat in Germany. My name is Bharat and in this video we have Divish with us. Divish is studying chemical and energy engineering, which is a very interesting course for many people. And this is the reason I wanted to get on a call with him and share with you guys what is his experience of studying this course, what is his story, and so on. Divish, welcome to the channel. Tell us a bit about yourself and then we jump into the questions. Hi Bharat, I am very thankful that... Uh... Uh, I'm on, on your video just to share my personal opinions and my experience in this course of uh, Masters in Chemical and Energy Engineering. Uh, I, I belong to Gujarat and uh, a city called Rajkot and I have started my course in 2019 uh, in, in the university, uh, Otofon Gurik University in Magdabu mm -hmm. and uh, the course name is Chemical and Energy Engineering, 10 subjects that, that, uh, that needs to be completed. Uh, as a compulsory subjects and uh, further we have an option for the elective subjects that we need to uh, go with and we need to complete the 90 credits and uh, uh, the course offers like it's uh, a biased course not the perfect chemical engineering course but some of the subjects are very uh, into the energy side so yes and uh, uh, after after during the course you can also do your internship in uh, in the company just to get a 10 credit points as well as some experience in how things are going in the company uh, in the actual uh, scenario yes mm -hmm. because what done into the theoretical books like it's totally different in when we come into the practical uh, working is yes. what was um, studying in india for you like Devish? what course were you studying which university and so on and how did that compare with the studying in germany yes i have completed my bachelor's in chemical engineering from Marwadi University in Rajkot. And uh, like completing the bachelor's in chemical engineering and uh, comparing it with master's in chemical engineering in Germany, it my like views were totally, uh, I mean, it's it's uh, very different. Uh, the, the, the way professor teach, the, the way student approaches to the professor, how research activities are going on mm -hmm. and uh, uh, more towards like uh, when we are into the course, do we really feel that I am into the course? So that's a, that's the main point. Uh, like I would like to say to all the students, upcoming students who wanted to do this course, uh, because during my uh, bachelor studies in chemical engineering, uh, it was more like uh, just reading the books and giving up, uh, giving the papers, uh, like uh, preparing for the exams, and we get the marks, and it's okay, perfect. And when uh, now I am in chemical and energy engineering in Otofon Gurik University, we have uh, the exams are more practical and more, uh, I mean, it's towards uh, like how the things are working in real life, the practical problems, the, the things that need to be taken care of. And uh, we focus more towards the research oriented approach uh, during the course study. Now, what were the biggest shocks for you when you came to Germany, Devyash? For every student, it's something different. So tell me about the starting few days when you came to Germany. Like, how was it for you to like, um, what kind of things happened? How was it for you to like cope up with things? So uh, I was planning uh, since a long time to come to Germany. And uh, when I just arrived in Germany, the things were uh, completely different from the first day when I arrived at Frankfurt airport. And uh, my like I have always kept in mind that I need to uh, I need to view I have to change my view like how how I see the things and how I need to uh, like identify uh, what all problems are coming and how I need to find a solution towards that. So yes, when I came to Germany, it, uh, at the beginning it was very difficult. The first problem that I uh, like that came in front of me was like I have completed my A2, but I was not able to uh, speak it. In the front of people when when questions were asked when answers were needed uh, so that was the main problem and uh, i find everywhere everything written in german but it's a very useful thing uh, useful language and we need to do when we are planning to be uh, live for a long time in germany so yes and, uh, uh, the accommodation things um, uh, like ex extending my networks like uh, uh, making friends in the universities were not uh, that difficult but of course the language uh, was a quite bit more difficult for me. Mm -hmm. So how did you like find the accommodation in Magdeburg? Uh, in Magdeburg, uh, like when I was in India, I contacted uh, an agency called uh, Wobau. Mm -hmm. So uh, we need to apply around one month prior 
before we arrive in Germany, and then they will uh, reply you back with the information like where the rooms are available in Magdeburg, and then according to your choice and priorities, you can select a particular room mm -hmm. where, uh, which is like for example, for someone it's uh, very good that they live near the university, but for others it's not okay, and they wanted to be in out uh, somewhere in the outskirts of the of the city. So mm -hmm. yes. There were different locations and, and different rents according to the places. And then I selected a new university and yes, I was living the, uh, uh, in the Walteratnaustrasa, uh, mm -hmm. the, the university. That's interesting. I, I see this uh, Wobau like um, directly on the screen and it looks like they have this like main building, like this high rise or something where there are like so many apartments. And yes. like the rates are actually not bad. 215 euros. It's written here. Like how much do you end up paying? Uh, for the monthly rent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's 261 per person. Mm -hmm. So yes, for a student and it includes everything, the electricity and Nebin Kosten and uh, each, each thing relate, related to living. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, so I think like that was not a bad idea that like if you are not, let's say, finding some place or something, you can also like contact some private agencies and like, you know, just get the accommodation or something from them just makes the things definitely a bit easier. Now, yes. how is Magdeburg is a city and did you have the chance of like traveling around to other cities too? Uh, yes, uh, like first of all, I would like to start with Magdeburg. Magdeburg is a very beautiful city. And like uh, I have heard reviews from the student, like those students who left Magdeburg for an internship or, or for a job, they always uh, remember it and they always love to come back to the Magdeburg because uh, the, uh, the people are so friendly and uh, university itself is a very big and uh, like there is a lot of places where we can go for networking and for making new friends. And of course, so when I, when I just uh, came to Bitterfield, for my uh, internship uh, in chemical engineering. So uh, nowadays I feel like it would have been better if I, I have been uh, coming or traveling from Magdeburg to the company because uh, when, when you are uh, living in a small, uh, small places like a small cities like such as Bitterfield, Wolfen, where it's an entire chemical park, then you feel lonely and you feel depressed sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I, I have also definitely one thing that many people have to like kind of struggle with or like manage when they go abroad like this feeling of loneliness kicks in very quickly and then you have to like realize okay like how do you manage that so how were you able to like manage that part of the things yeah so recently i was i was uh, in communication with my friend that uh, i'm feeling depressed and i'm not feeling good uh, nowadays so i started now a sports activities like i'm very much into the sports so i i I just uh, have a, had a walk throughout the city and found a public sports uh, places. So I play basketball, volleyball, and table tennis and uh, other outdoor activities. And so it uh, literally relieves the stress. And like I just get, I, it's, it's physically good as well as I'm comfortable playing with the other people and uh, making new friends out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think like sports is one thing that I hear like very frequently that it like does yes. make sense that you go out, like, you know, put yourself in motion, that that helps. Um, and yes. which semester are you in already, Divyash? I am in fifth semester right now. Fifth so, semester. Yes, yes. And okay. still my master thesis has to be completed to mm -hmm. complete the Okay. So this means you have already survived two winters in Germany. Um, yes so exactly. how was it for you like because the winters are something very different for people um tell me a bit about it uh in in winters we we like uh, we uh, we all know that uh, the sun uh, sets very uh, earlier and uh, even the in the day we don't get enough light so that it, it's just uh, fluctuate our moods and uh, we were not able to do tasks that that are allocated very in a good manner i would say so what I used to do during the winters, just uh, need to take a break uh, in, in during my work. And then I used to do indoor sport activities as well uh, in the university. And uh, I, I, uh, in, in previous winter, I was more into finding a, an internship for my course. So it was more challenging and a bit difficult. But at the end, I 
just got an internship so i'm very happy for that there are so many things they say like you know have a lamp with yellow light and things like that but i think it's like all of that doesn't really um help that well if you're like not really moving yourself or like if you don't really have schedule or like you know try to meet people and things like that and i think this is the one part where i really liked the indian associations that at least like when the new indian students they come inside like you know you can have some kind of contact and stuff with them but it's like it's it's also very important to kind of like you know have the positive side of it and also like kind of separate it from the politics because i also know that like indian student associations in every university like they also have these like system of presidents vice presidents and so on and then sometimes like it just goes yes. uh, too much into that perfect and like um when was the last time you visited your family uh it was two years ago uh in december 2019 mm-hmm. and since i'm i'm just willing to go back to india for a short break but uh, things keep on coming in and i'm not able to plan the entire uh, like what to do next so now i'm in internship and uh, after completion of the internship there would be a, a starting of my master thesis mm-hmm. and then getting a break short break uh meanwhile it's it's uh, difficult because uh, then i i'm also planning to start my job in the same company so yes mm-hmm. we're very excited to go back to india once the situation is uh, in control yeah i think this is always um yeah not so nice <laughs> because yes. the thing is like when you're finishing a your masters it's like really a sprint because masters is just like two years long right and like bachelors is nice four years you have so much time with your friends and everything but masters two years like you just kind of like really push through it um and then like unless you have your job or something you just never feel this kind of sense of security but once everything's done the wish then you can definitely like maybe take out some time chill out for a bit longer um but like you're like putting a lot of effort inside the internship right now yes yes that's important because like if you do the internship well you find the job in the same company that's the easiest way to like you know find a job especially in germany yes and and one one more thing like i would like to add to this point is like uh, uh, what students are thinking uh, nowadays like how easy uh, their good job is is not correct or it's not right because uh getting a job is very very difficult and you need to have a influence of people uh who are really strong in applic- uh, job applications and who who really knows how to apply for the job or an internship because i have been looking your videos during the internship like how to find the internship uh, in different websites and like uh, how to go through the process and just to get an overview like uh, we need to do a smart work rather than a hard work at that point in time yes I think absolutely like when you were doing the internship part um what did you feel like how much german did you need uh divesh when you were like trying to apply for internship uh for like um, for from my side a personal experience would be like at least you need a b1 or so a b2 because because the way uh, the communications are going uh, in the company during the internship they just give you the responsibilities and they just uh, uh, say that you need to perform this task and like if you don't understand what they are saying it it would be uh, more difficult than performing a task mm-hmm. so uh, that's what happened with me as well so when some uh, like in the company when someone says like go go here and do this and perform a excel sheet but uh, i just i just know that it's a excel sheet other than yeah. that it's it's difficult yeah because they speak speak very faster and uh, in in the lo- local in german there is there is a wide difference because uh, students have learned a proper way of german but here it's it's a dif- uh, different thing yes another quick thing that i wanted to like um, talk to you about is let's say a bit of a structure of your course maybe some other let's say tips and advices that you would like to give to the students about your course or maybe about like you know just living in germany yes uh, so about my course is like uh, the course is uh, the course contains uh, equivalent thing of chemical engineering as well as the energy prospects uh, into it and uh, if any students uh, students are planning to join this course uh, they just need to first pre check like uh, will they fit the course and do they like the module of the course because uh, most of the student uh, think like it's an entry point to germany but actually it's not so are they interested uh, really in the course and the content uh, that has been there in the course 
and uh, the second thing is that like you just plan entire thing like what you are going to do after the course and during the course is very very important because mm -hmm. most of the students that and my friends uh, who just uh, came to germany they are just willing to rush into the part time jobs as they just came into uh, came into germany so it's not uh, that good thing but of course you need to do a part time but it, uh, part time jobs but it needs to be planned very well and uh, how you are going to organize the things uh, mm -hmm. that was second tip and uh, yes be prepare for the uh, internship as well as uh, job application because it will take a lot of your time and efforts so at the end you you need a right uh, person who can uh, just guide you through the process or i would say you, you need to be very motivated during this process because it's not that an easy easy job absolutely i think this is like very good tips uh, divesh what would you tell to the parents who are worried that um their children will not be able to let's say you know uh eat good food or something like what are your thoughts there uh yeah of course like when uh, students are coming to germany like uh, parents like even my parents were like just you i am a vegetarian and my parents used to say that please don't eat uh, uh non veg or something like eggs and uh, meat or something like that but i would say like it's a personal choice at the end and uh, uh, what you believe in and uh, yes it's a quite difficult for a vegetarian to find uh, all the raw materials and to prepare their own meals and own foods uh, uh, in a in a regular routine day but uh, uh, at the end we find something somewhere and uh, it works out like for example a uh, vegetables fresh vegetables and fresh fruits are always available in in the store so they just uh, we can just go and prepare some so a short of meal and yeah then it's it's very good but uh, i would say to parents like uh, they do not need to worry because uh, one once a student from india or any any of the country is coming to germany they have just prepared themselves with, uh, within their minds that uh, they will do something different and they have already planned something so that's the reason they have uh, cho chosen a course in um, in, a, in a country like germany i think um, nowadays like pe people uh, students gen generally have a less idea about like the students they used to call me and they just used to ask me like uh, how things are going in internship and thesis specifically and is it related to the jobs so that needs to be a little bit elaborated but uh, uh, in future maybe hopefully we will yeah. do a video on that because yeah, yeah. i think the most important thing for a student is like they settle down and they just get a good job at the end after Absolutely. the study Yeah, yes. that is that is definitely very important. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. It was very nice to catch up with the Vish and that he was able to share so many important uh, information for you guys. We also have a lot of like resources and webinars and things like that directly in the description that you can take a look at if you want to kind of dip your toe and want to understand how it is to study in Germany and so on. If you have some questions to the Vish, you can just write it in the comments below. And we will make sure that we take a look at that and respond to them. Now, thank you so much again. Thank you, Devish. I will see you guys next time.